My name's David. I'm an agricultural service technician and I work for Turney Agriculture. My job role is mainly to service, maintain and look after farm machinery. As an agricultural technician, we're part of the food chain. We supply and look after the machinery the farmer uses to produce the food. The favourite part of the job is every day is different. I enjoy all my jobs. OK, some of them are stinky, some of them are mucky, but they're all interesting. We're moving away from chemicals to organics. The organic matter is a byproduct of the dairy and the animal industry, and also your food waste bins. All that still goes through the machinery, and that machinery still breaks down. So some days you go back smelling worse than others. There isn't a typical working day, because every day is different. The majority of the time we're driving around different farms, different problems, different machines, or in the workshop preparing new equipment or repairing equipment that's been brought in. When I was at school, I was very academic. My school were trying to push me down an academic route. At home, I was playing with my Lego, my Technic, Meccano, learning how things work, how things happen. And that gradually built up as I got older. Radio controlled cars, we took apart an engine for a car. Didn't necessarily know how it worked, but once you move on in life, that's when you learn how things work. You can't always go by what your teachers tell you. You have to go by what you believe is the way you want to go. I fancy doing something a bit different. When I was 16, I worked as a Saturday job in a shop that sold tools that was owned by a farmer. He suggested to me, why don't you try agricultural engineering? I did two years doing my national diploma in engineering. I was able to increase that to a HND in agriculture engineering. So that's the route I took and I haven't looked back since. We need a good blend of skills to make a decent technician. We need academic and physical. You definitely need a mixture of both. There is a lot of aspects that we build on from an apprenticeship. You need to be interested. You need a logical take on everything. You have to have a good memory. You start one job, you'll move to the next job. You may not go back to the job you've done for a couple of days. You need to be able to talk to other people. You need decent communication skills. We talk to everybody, we talk to each other, we talk to customers, we talk to suppliers. The hand and body language is a big skill that we also use. When moving machinery around, you can't hear each other. To be able to signal with your hands is very important. To embrace every job as a challenge is a big part of being a technician. It's no good going to a job and saying, oh, I can't do that. Go to it. If you're struggling, you can always ask someone. No one knows everything, and a lot of people have already been there before and tried it. Teamwork is very important in this job. The team is very friendly. We get on really well. The most challenging part of the job is coming in with an open mind every day. There's no single path of a technician. You've got to be willing to adapt. There are so many aspects to this job now. We work in electrics, mechanics, computers. We have to have a basic understanding of everything. Computers are in all day life now. A machine can actually talk directly to us. It can tell us anything from an error code to how many hours and it needs a service. We don't have a gear stick, we have a button. The next generation of tractors might not even have cabs on. Because the technology is moving on so fast, we need a lot more technical staff to keep on top of it. Don't ever think becoming a technician you're going to be stuck in one place for too long. There's non-stop training within the job. You can train as one thing and actually become something else later on and become specialist. Don't be scared of taking a different avenue. You don't have to stick to what you start off on. I love going to work because every day I don't know what's going to happen until I actually get there. And it just so happens that the machinery I work on is big and I just feel like a big kid every day. I get to play with some of the big expensive machines that you just dream of when you're a child. As a technician, I look at how something's designed, how it works, and if I can make it better. Well, how does that work? I'm going to take that apart and find out. 